So what I'm specifically working on is for adolescents. So adolescents don't really have too many services here in the city. Um, and so that's what we're trying to figure out what kinds of services they need and what can Sunkulp do to help them out. So a typical day can be anything. Um, since I'm doing research, um, some days I'm out on the field. So we're anywhere in Bombay, anywhere from South Bombay to North Bombay, anywhere that there are hot spots for adolescents, we were going there and we're trying to find kids from 14 to 20, um, boys and girls, and we're trying to assess what their drug addiction needs are as well as their sexual behavior. So half the time I'm in the field, and the other half I'm in the office, trying to figure out what services there are in the city, um, what services there are everywhere else in the world, what can we learn from, what, can, what is possible to implement over here. Um, I'm, you know, analyzing the data, I'm trying to type up a report for the end, so everything that research involves. I think volunteers should come to San Help because it's really gratifying how each individual here is really impacted by what the organization does. And really when you get to know everyone's story, you kind of like get impacted yourself and you're like, I'm really privileged to be here and you know, be grateful for the things that you have. Primarily what I've been doing so far has been writing letters of appeals to uh, generate funds for the nonprofit. Um, because right now there has been a delay in funds from the government, which not only affects Sankal, but also other NGOs that have that are working with HIV. So there's that lack of funding. So a lot of NGOs are just closing down their services. So it's my job to keep those services going for specifically Sankal. Everyone should understand where we're coming from and what our basic objective is to provide good quality services free of cost wherever possible or for very little money so that anyone who needs it can access it. Well, what keeps me motivated is the fact that the services that we offer are actually going a long way in changing the quality of people's lives. I've seen people who were on their deathbed when they came to us and today they are up and about. I mean, the best example you can say is our driver who just uh, retired and went off today. He came more than seven years ago and um, he thought like his end was near. But when he left this morning, he said, you know, that I feel this life ahead of me even after retirement. And what more can I say than this is something that's real testimony for what we are providing. Yeah, I think the volunteers, what's good about it is that it's a good example for many of the drug users who have been, you can say, constantly thinking about themselves, their drugs, their addiction, and they haven't really even been concerned about people in their own families. To see that volunteers coming from far away with such dedication is very good for them. I, I think the volunteers, it's a give and take. We also offer them an, a new experience in a completely different setting which they may not have imagined. They do bring a sense of acceptance to our entire clientele because they, are, they have a willingness to mix with them and uh, uh, this whole sense of acceptance is very therapeutic for our clients, I think. There's a place for people of all different backgrounds here. Um, there's a multitude of jobs available. Um, and there's a lot of support as well. Um, a lot of times, you know, I was afraid that I would have to come in and, you know, I'd kind of be lost. I wouldn't know what to do, where to go, I'm in a new city. But they did a really good job of, you know, giving people, um, giving me people who could support me in what I wanted to do, but also, you know, telling me what they needed. So it's a good back and forth. Um, and I think, you know, you'll learn a lot as well as you feel like you know you're doing a little tiny bit to give something back to them.